Okay, so we have here a Mark II uh, Gorf by, designed by Paul Maddox. It's a little sequencer, made this out of a kit, started it together. There's an app mail there which is running the code. There are a number of stages to this. Uh, notes, length, velocity. There are two sets of controllers that you can set. I haven't bothered. And then uh, um, there's pattern plays for looping patterns. I'm not using that right now. Uh, and then under continuals, there are things like the, the control for your tempo, the length of your sequence, and things like that. And there's other setups in there, you know, MIDI and so forth. So we'll just leave this on note. And this runs, load and save. Uh, MIDI in, MIDI out. You can transpose from a keyboard. I haven't got that plugged in right now. And uh, to its right are two kits that I've built. Um, the, this kit here, with the little maple leaf on it, Lauren in Canada. Um, this is an SMR4 filter uh, with a digital board on top with the Atmel controller in there. And there's menus that uh, buried under here, two oscillators, filter, uh, two ADSRs, two LFOs with various rates. There's an arpeggiator and a sequencer. Um, there are quite a lot of uh, presets on this one, up to 512, I think. I forget what it is on this one. And then there's controls for MIDI and Octave and Portmento and Legato and things like that uh, in there. And, uh, of course, the Sharuthis are all quite well known among those of us who, who build these. Uh, and you really build them as a kit. Everybody who's got one has probably built it. A few people buy them. Uh, but the, the Sharuthi has its roots in Indian uh, music and mythology. So there's a little goddess uh, on the circuit board. Olivier does a fabulous job. And then Frank does kits uh, out of Germany for the uh, acrylic cases. Uh, MIDI in, MIDI out, audio processing through the filter, uh, and then uh, audio out. Uh, they run on a basically a 9-volt supply. There's a regulator in there and diodes for protection and stuff like that. Uh, and they snap together with little digital collect connectors between the boards. Um, usually the digital controller is about the same. However, over on this one, the Polyvox, you'll see right here on the regular Shruthi, there's nothing there. On the Polyvox, it's very hard to see through the case because it's a colored case. There's a row of connectors here which have to do with how the, the uh, controls work because it has two filters in there and you can select between the filters turn on a real nasty distortion uh, do some FM modulation of the oscillators and the filters and stuff like that uh, so uh, but generally they're mostly the same this uh, usually the one the switches uh, over here are the same pattern have the same functions except on this one there are two pushes on the filter because the second one brings up some different options on the filter uh, the slight difference is this one looks a little bulky under there because I was out of this special uh, IC, which is a, um, a single inline chip uh, with a row of 10K resistors built in, uh, which has to do with, uh, um, uh, with the switches and, uh, and the digital circuitry. So I, this one's bulkier because uh, my friend George uh, explained to me uh, uh, how you could actually make your own by putting in individual resistors and soldering them together and making your own single inline thing. So a little improvisation. Sometimes parts are hard to get depending on where you live. And I didn't want to do a mouse or a digi-key order for a, a very small sort of $2 kind of part. Um, I really like the Sharuthis. I think they're great value for the money. They're really fun to build and they produce really good results. And and to my ear, they sound pretty good. And I've you know played many Moogs and Arp Odysseys and all of those kind of groovy vintage things. Played them badly for many years. And I think the Sharuthis sound just fabulous. And I really am very fond of them as a design and I highly recommend them as great value for the money and a, a great thing to uh, build yourself. Um, the, now the Gorf, uh, Paul Maddox's design, it, that's pretty nice. It, it, in both cases, the designers have friends who've crafted and come up with designs for these cases. The Sharuthi case, which uh, Frank in Germany uh, designs and, and is put together and held together by screws, uh, uh, really owes a debt of thanks uh, to the Sandwich Sid, which is one of the great classics, sort of do-it-yourselves, and you see the honeycombing in there and, and, the, and the design that goes into that one. It's, great fun as a kit. 
that one is using the Commodore 64 SID chip, different varieties of it. So what I'm going to do right here is just show off you know, a little bit of these things that I built, because I built all three of these, uh, um, and I haven't done one of these videos for a while. So let's just fire up a sequence here. Okay, you are hearing this one right now. Let's give it a little more volume. Okay. Um, here's some of the presets. I'll just run through them while this sequence is going. Interesting kind of variety in in, in here. Um, now, what I want to show you with this one is, um, for most of them, you press a button once, and it shows you one of your oscillators and the program you're on. You can modify that program and change the type of oscillators. Quite a few oscillator shapes in there. I really like the vowel. It's a lot of fun. Here's the filter. These filters are pretty good. Here comes the resonance. The amount of envelope going into the filter. And the amount of LFO going in. And of course you've got a second oscillator. And then you got a balance of oscillators for mixing them. And a blend. You have a sub-octave. You have a noise source. And you have some uh, operators that do different things like... We'll go back to the filter. Now if you press the button for the filter a second time, I'll bring the sound down a little bit. You get a second set of features for, the, for it. Um, it's on low pass. Let's turn the overdrive on. Gets real nasty. Uh, let's get rid of that LFO. Let's turn the FM on. So the Polyvox, being a clone of something kind of like an MS-20, is a real dirty, gnarly filter. Let's try some other. One one ADSR. This ADSR is going to the VCA. A lot of different wave shapes for the LFOs: tri, ramp, step, uh, a couple of pre-programmed uh, waveforms, and so forth. We'll just keep to a tri because it doesn't really do like a pure sign, but it's, it's mostly what you need real slow rate. The filters um, will do variations of MIDI, like lock to plus one of MIDI, MIDI clock, two, four, six, sixteen, or down to zero in the two or three. And then if I hit this again, I'm on the other oscillator. And 
I'll take that one slow. And then I go over here. I've got modulation sources. So I'm going to send LFO1 to the cutoff. You can go positive or minus on the filter. And then I can go to modulation 2. I've got about 12 modulation mixes in the matrix I can use. Let's take modulation 3 and make it go to pulse width 1, which will uh, mess up the, uh, the vowel sound. I'm going to put that on sync. Let's see, where are we here? The mix. That's a band pass, low pass. about the nastiest filter I've heard in a long time. And there's other sets in here, like you can drop this down an octave. I found two octaves, or up two octaves, portmento. Now compare that with the SMR4, which is also on. I'll change. I'll change the sound around. Pretty dramatic, eh? So that's this one here. It's the same sequence, they're all in loop, you know, different preset of course, but the SMR4, pretty nice, pretty clean, uh, where am I here, sometimes I get lost, no, oh, there I am. Bring them both up. One left, one right. So I just turned the overdrive and the, uh, and the FM off on the Paula box. Some band pass filter, I'll turn it down to low pass filter. You still have control over it. there you have it. Those are uh, two of these very delightful little Sharuti one uh, boxes that I built uh, being driven by Paul, Mort's, uh, Paul Maddox's uh, Gorf. Uh, so go to mutableinstruments.net to find the Sharutis. Uh, this was a bare bones kit case and knobs and a couple of ICs and you had to supply the other parts. Uh, and uh, 
buy yourself a kit and make one if you if, you know I, I really recommend this and you know and you can you can hear what I'm talking about in terms of what they've got going for them but the, that polyvox is one mean nasty sucker it really is That's it. Thanks.